Good morning, Stampin' Friends. Happy Wednesday, it's hump day. You know what that means. Time for What's Up Wednesday. So if you are out there, come on into my studio, give me a like or a love, let me know that you're on so that we can have some stampin' fun today. Hopefully you guys are all gearing up for the holidays. I know I am almost kind of done with Christmas. Like, I feel like I've been playing with Christmas since August and I have all this new stuff that's been coming in this week and if you've been watching my unpacking videos you've seen some of the cool stuff that we have coming out in our next upcoming catalog but we still have this guy right here we still have our August through December mini catalog or what I tend to call the holiday catalog um, just because it's a lot easier and it contains all the holiday items so if you have been with me this week, you know that we announced yesterday our year-end closeout sale, which has been phenomenal. So hopefully there are still lots and lots of items left uh, on, on sale for great deals. So hopefully you guys were able to hop on yesterday and get some, get some good steals from this catalog. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna do the little housekeeping while you guys come on in. So don't forget likes and loves so I know that you're here. Um, so that I'm not just talking to myself here in my studio. Good morning, friends. Oh, my West Coast girls, they're up early. Must be, must be time to coffee and craft, right? So um, there you guys are. I see you coming on. Awesome. I love it. So anyway, I was just talking about the fact that we have the year-end closeout was announced uh, for this this catalog and so I went through uh, you can find the video where I went through page by page and showed you what was retiring and what is discounted but still lots of good discounts to be had you guys good morning friends so just remember on top of the year-end clearance that was announced we also have a uh, clearance rack refresh so this this was the bomb did you guys shop yesterday holy moly so um, yesterday they told us we were gonna have a refresh I did not get up at midnight to see what was on it I just kind of woke up slowly and then all of a sudden my Facebook feed was filled with these comments of stamp and blends for a dollar eighty and snail refill was on sale and paper and kits and all these fantastic deals a lot of them were snagged up right at the beginning but there are still some great um, some great uh, deals to be had so all you need to do is hop on over to my online shopping store that is jodybreckbill.stampinup.net uh, and shop you can shop the year-end clearance or the year-end closeout which is everything from this catalog you can also shop the clearance rack and anything else that you might need I know I am running out of of seal right now so I'm gonna be ordering some of that I also need some more cardstock and I have not even done my Christmas cards yet so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need lots of envelopes so that's my plan for this weekend is to get my Christmas cards done so that's just a little housekeeping again real quick a little bit bigger hop on over to my online store and be sure that you use this code at checkout so when you go to checkout you're gonna look at the right hand column and there's a little um, a little bar there that says host code and that's where you want to put that in now I do want to caution you if you guys are ordering hundred and fifty dollars don't use the host code that means you are your own hostess and you get the benefits so if you're putting in your own party of hundred and fifty or you have some friends that are snagging some things with you uh, make sure you take the host benefits you don't have to use that host code so anyway friends as always I do a little giveaway so let's see what where's my stuff um, here we are so this was last week's prize patrol the blue adhesive back gem so the winner of these gems is Alicia Bennett so I don't know if Alicia is on today I didn't see her pop up so congrats Alicia I'll make sure I get these out into the mail Alicia's on my team so yay for you Alicia I got a little something something coming your way and as always guys I always have a giveaway so it's always good to come join me for what's up Wednesday and see what I'm giving away for free 
Today's giveaway, today's prize patrol is the square doilies. These are super fun. We used these on a card uh, last week and I had an extra pack, so I'm gonna give those away. All you need to do is comment, like, love, and share my video with your friends and you get entered for a chance. Then come on back next Wednesday for What's Up Wednesday and I will tell you who is the winner. So the um, square doilies are our, are our prize patrol today. Good morning, Debbie. Okay, so what else did I wanna tell you since I've got you guys a captive audience? Um, let me share one thing and then we'll get started stamping. <clears throat> so I thought maybe I would share with you, oh good Betty, I'm glad you finally got them. Uh, enjoy them. I think they are sold out now, if I remember correctly. The um, Snowflake Adhesive uh, Sequins was on the sale list the year end closeout, and I think they're already gone. Um, they were like 50% off, so what a great deal we had. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not even like we had. We are having the year-end cl closeout is actually happening all the way through till January 4th. So um, it's not like it was one day. I just encourage you guys to always shop early because I know when there's really good deals um, that things sell out really, really quick. So I, I, that's why I say hop online, shop right away because we have all of us shopping at the same time and all of us want great deals. So um, yeah, lots of things did sell out really quick and that is just what happens with the clearance rack. You know, that's what the point is of a clearance rack and the point of the year end closeout is we've got to get stuff moved out so that we have room for more to come in. And so we pass those savings on to you, which is awesome. So back to December's to go class so starting I'm almost a year in guys we've been doing this for almost a year um, for some reason in January of 2020 I thought maybe I would start to offer a virtual class a class to go little did I know y'all that that's like all I would have for the for the first couple months of 2020 um, and you guys are loving the classes to go. So I'm gonna continue doing them. This is December's class to go. So normally, I talked about this yesterday, but for those of you that weren't on, I normally have a birthday bash stamp a stack in person between Christmas and New Year's, and we get together and we make a stack of birthday cards so that we are ready to hit 2021 and have a nice stack of cards ready to send out to our friends. Well, clearly I have my studio shut down uh, to in person right now as we kind of um, deal with the situation that's going on and uh, so I thought well I could do this virtually I could totally have a birthday bash stamp a stack virtual anyway and I wanted to showcase the shaker cards that I made these are so much fun these are the simplest shaker sh shake all cards you are ever gonna make and I did a movie Monday so you can check my YouTube channel and you can see a, a video of how this is created but this is just a clear envelope one of our clear mailing envelopes and our amazing Amazing, fun little uh, all season sequence and this fantastic happiest of birthday stamp set so the information is out I sent it out it went out via email um, to my mailing loop and also it is posted on our on this Jody Breckbill Stampin' Queen page as well as my Stamp with Jody B page. So hurry guys, if you're interested in this class, you wanna get signed up by December 16th. That's my cutoff so that I can get all the supplies here, get everything prepped, still enjoy a little holiday time with my family and then get out your cards. So you're gonna get everything that you need to create four cards. So you're gonna get half a pack of the Artistry Blooms Designer Series paper. You're gonna get the packs of envelopes Envelopes that you need to create the shakers and then you're gonna get the sequins okay so you do have to supply your own ink but I have add-on options if you don't have ink pads I can hook you up and get you the get you the ink pads that you need no problem but these are the four cards and you're gonna make two of every single card good morning miss Deb Thank you so much for joining me. This might be my favorite. Like I, I, although I'm, 
I do love the pink and this is I've told you guys before this marvelous magenta was a color that I just didn't think that I would like I'm not a pinky person but dang I just love it it is just the right pink um, so anyway two of every single card you're going to get a tutorial you're gonna get all the supplies that you need you will not have the stamp set that's an add-on for you so if you want to add on the stamp set you can do that through the registration link you can use your own stamp set some of you guys already have this because it's been around a while but it is a great little stamp set just ready to kick off the the new year with some fun birthday cards that are just going to wow your friends so if you need more information on that let me know I can get you some information the other thing I want to tell you is are you guys playing the 12 days of Christmas over on my uh, stamp with Jody B VIP group I have been reading the comments today and I am so jealous of all you people who play instruments. So if you're not over there, hop over to my Stamp with Jody B group page. All you need to do is just do a search for it and uh, ask to join and I will let you guys in and you can catch up on the 12 days of Christmas. So we're on day nine, right? Is today December 9th, I think. So every day I post a question and all you have to do is like and comment every day. And then at the end of, of 12 days, I'm gonna do a, a daily giveaway. And then for everyone who has been there every single day for all 12 days, you go into a drawing to win a $25 gift certificate, which is perfect for the brand new catalog and celebration coming out. So if you're not a part of it, head over there. Today's question is, um, do you play an instrument? And if so, what instrument do you play? I don't play an instrument. I played uh, the violin for a hot minute in elementary school. And at the same time, I um, got my first pony. And so kind of when she came, I was like, yeah, you can put the violin away. I don't need to do anything for that. And so, um, so yeah, I did. I stopped playing and uh, turned my attention to horses. So, um, yes, yeah, Sharon, I can totally send you the registration. You should be on my mailing list. And so, um, email went out. I think on Monday. So you might need to check a spam folder just to make sure it's not in there and add me as an approved sender. Sometimes because it's a mailing list, um, your your uh, email servers are kind of like kicking me out a little bit. So anyway but yeah I can definitely send you the link again good morning ladies good morning all right so if you're just joining in you can hop back and catch the replay we were just talking about making sure to shop the clearance rack as well as our year-end closeout sale because there are still some good good deals to be had and uh, we're getting ready to go stamping right so um, tis the season to give gift cards yes am I right that is a go-to for me, especially with grown children. Um, they send me lists for things that I don't know where to find them. And um, so anyway, I love, I love giving gift cards. Also, these are, uh, gift cards are perfect. Like I give to my UPS man because he's here like almost every day bringing me stamping boxes. Um, I give something to the girls at my post office because I'm always there doing mailings, um, hair salon, massage, all the, that, you know, there's some little gifty things that you can either um, put some cash or you could do a gift card in here or you could probably even do scratch offs I'm betting so these are these two ideas are from my friend Audra and so these are direct copies from her so I love her she's the crafty yogi and she is amazing so I this is a little gift card wallet so we're gonna open this up here and then when you flip it open you have got a little pocket there and you could put some money in there a lottery ticket some cash we always do um scratch offs on christmas morning too that was always something we always gave the kids was um little scratch off lottery tickets yes we encourage gambling at a very young age so then this is the same one using the trimming the town and um, that is getting ready to retire so the paper 
um, the the stamps and the dies and the ribbon all on sale right now so it's getting ready to leave us so there you go just a little pocket right there so I thought I would come on and show you guys how to do that I've showed a couple gift card holders but these are fun like you can make these in minutes and just have a bunch of them you could you could make these guys you know what you could do totally make a bunch of these and then sell them to your friends because your friends are gonna want something cool gift cards are like I don't enjoy giving a gift card because it's just kind of blah it's not really personal but here when you have something so cute like this like the little gift card wallet you can um, make it make it very personal and you are gonna see how quick and easy it is to create also we're gonna use the um, the snowflake suite here we're using the ribbon and that is on sale that is 50% off and the DSP is on sale because that's leaving and then this die set dies and um, stamp sorry the stamp is leaving the dies are staying for a little bit so let's get started shall we all right so let me show you what we're gonna use here first I've got all my papers ready to go so I chose the um, snowflake sweet or not really sweet because we're not we're using the stamp here the snowflake wishes uh, stamp set and the paper and then I used the warm hugs okay so this is the die set the dies actually are gonna stick around for a little bit they are not gonna retire right at the moment but the stamp set is going to retire so if you love it snatch it up alrighty so let's go ahead and do our die or our, our uh, oh my goodness my tongue it ain't working we'll do our scoring so I can get rid of this and have a little bit more room so I have a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock it is five and a half by eight and a half so the nice thing is if you cut your cardstock in half you're gonna get two gift card wallets out of each piece of paper that is fantastic so we're going to score at two inches and five and a half inches. All right, so now I've lost a bone folder along the way. I usually have a little container that keeps everything right where it belongs and I can't find my bone folder. So we just I just folded those up so you can see how it's gonna go together like a little fold over wallet. And then I have the triple punch, which I'm not sure of its name, but it's got our little corner rounder there. So I am gonna corner round the flaps. So I'm just gonna do these two sides here. And then where the bottom folds up, I'm gonna round. Actually, do I want to? I did on the first one and I didn't on the second one. Yeah, let's go ahead, just for fun. And once we round the corners of our wallet, we're gonna have to round the corners of everything else. So I have got two pieces of designer series paper and these are cut at five five inches by two and a half inches five inches by one and three quarter inches then i have a white piece that is five and a quarter by three and a quarter that goes on the inside so that's where our sentiment can go right in here so we'll fold up and that way we can stamp and write something on there now the one thing i'll tell you um i'll, I'll tell you when we get to that part so then we need two pieces of white five inches by two and a half inches and five inches by one and a half inches so let's go ahead and round those corners as well and you only need to do two corners you don't need to do all four corners and the same with our designer series paper we'll round that as well the one thing I'll tell you when if you have this punch what I wanted to do at first was like punch like this like at a slant because it has because it's all three 
uh, it doesn't work well that way. So when you're punching, even though you're just using this side right here, still punch straight up and down. You don't wanna punch it at an angle. Learned that quickly, it did not go well. So round these two corners here. The other thing with this punch that's great is it's got these little guides right here. So you wanna make sure that you have your paper shoved in the whole way and uh, make sure it's hitting the guide. That way you're not going to get a goofy corner. And if you turn it over actually, see you can see where that, your tip of your paper should go right into that V right there, see it? And that's what the guides help you do. Alrighty, <clears throat> so now we can do a little assembly. So let's wake up our seal here and see if I have some. He looks like he wants to run out here shortly. Oh, that would be pretty too. Huh, am I gonna change my mind? Yeah. Yes, I am. Am I? Yes. Let's change our mind. You need to wake up, seal. It's time to work. So I did, that's the piece with like the watercolory wash. And I just, I'm gonna use the opposite um, to be different. So now we wanna make sure that we are lining up our paper round edge to round edge. And same on this one. Alrighty, so now I can go ahead and attach this to the front of my wallet. and just making sure those round corners meet each other. That one has just a little bit, there we go. Yeah, I like that, something different. So what I'm gonna do with this piece before I attach it is I'm gonna grab my one inch circle punch. And I'm just gonna take and just do not even half, just a little bit of um, maybe a third and just notch it. And what that's gonna do is kind of make my finger hold. So if you've got money or you've got your gift card in there, that's just gonna make a place that your finger can, can go in and snatch it. So we'll attach that. Now, one thing you wanna be careful of is if you do have a specific patterned paper that goes, um, oh, you're so dumb, look what you just did. Um, so, <laughs> you also wanna make sure that you notch the right edge. Look at that. It's always fun when you mess up during a live, right? So, let's do it again. And this is, this is my sample, right? Do as I do, or do as I say, not as I do, yeah? So let's put that in here. So once you have it, it's a little crooked. Once you have it attached, um, you're gonna have to go back in and make this notch again. And that's because you can't, it just doesn't like to go through three layers of paper. It's a little tough. So um, now it got that stuck in there. Okay, so now we're gonna go back through and we're just going to line that up and do another little notch. So does that make sense? So you're ignoring this piece right here. The one thing I was trying to tell you is make sure if you've got pattern paper that you put it the right way whenever you fold it up. All right, so we can go ahead and stick this in here. Now the other thing I'm gonna caution you on is watch how far this comes up with stamping your sentiment. So when you look at this one here, you'll see that you need to keep your sentiment kind of up high 
and watch where you're signing. So, um, you know, because this is, this is kind of a big flap here, so you might not get a lot of words on there. You could always do something on the back if you need to write a bigger message or tuck something down in. You could put it on a piece of cardstock and then tuck that and then would just pull that little message out. Does that make sense? Hopefully so. So now let's put this in. that right in there and then what I did was stamped it with Knight of Navy ink and since I'm giving these away these are actually for my um, my people like my hair my hair girl she's gonna get one of these and so I'm just gonna watch that how far up that goes and then um, put my sentiment in there then I need a little bit of tear and tape. If you also have the new Stamp and Seal Plus, you could definitely use that. I don't. I want a strong adhesive because I don't want it to come open. So I choose something a little bit stronger. So the tear and tape works, or you could totally use Stamp and Seal Plus if you've got that, because we don't want our little gifty falling out. So we'll close that right up there, and there we go. There's our little wallet. So there's the gist of it, and you just put your little goodie right down in there. Isn't that cool? So let's go ahead and do some decoration. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, though, is I'm gonna pop this off before it's stuck permanently. I probably could have done this off camera and not showed you I was doing this because I'm gonna put a new one on there so I can actually use this. But that seal does come off nicely within the first couple minutes. After you've let it on for a while, it comes becomes a little bit more permanent and it's harder to get off. So that's why I wanted to peel that off now so that I can fix up my little, my little uh-oh, which is an easy fix, really. I've done way worse things. Alrighty, so now I've got Let's, let's move some things over because I'm gonna bring in my new best friend. Baby Boss is here, you guys. Baby Boss is here. So let's do, let's do my stamping. I need the For You. And I'm going to do that in Knight of Navy on a piece of white. This is just some scrap. And then I'm using this teeny little, little uh, Christmas tree. So I'm going to do the Christmas tree in Navy and I do the outline first. Then I have Seaside Spray. So I'm going to do the inside of the Christmas tree with that. And I find this easier for me. I can just look down through and I can see the outline of the blue. And then I just put, is that not adorable? Oh my gosh, so, so cute. Cutie little patooties. All right, now I'm looking around and I don't see my dies anywhere. Oh, duh, Breck Bill, you put them away. You're too efficient some days. My goodness. My goodness, my goodness, and it's only Wednesday. Alrighty, so give ourselves some room. Even though Baby Boss, he's he is tiny, so I need my little Christmas tree. I need this one. This creates a circle with some stitching, and I love I love anything that's stitched. This one is going to create the for you with the circle cutout, which is awesome, and then this one is going to do the seaside spray element. So we should be able to do these all at one time. I haven't, I haven't done this with Baby Boss yet. He's just embossed. So let's see how he does. It's time to work, baby. Wakey, wakey. Ha <laughs> ha, and he's so cute. So cute. Alrighty, so now for die cutting, I just need my number one plate and a number two plate. Oh, look at that. It's a nice, pretty, clean plate. We're gonna ruin it up real quick. 
So let's see how many of these we could cut at the same time. So I'm going to cut that one and we'll cut this one. And then it looks like I need another two plate on top. I'm left-handed. I should try to be right-handed and that would help. Alrighty, there we go. Ruin my plates first time out. Love it. Or not ruined, you know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. It's so nice to see those nice clear plates, but then we gotta use them. Gotta use them. Okay, so now let's go back through and we'll line up. This might have to be two cuts. We'll see how it works. So I'm just gonna put that circle right over top and let's see if the Christmas tree will go at the same time. We don't have a magnet for this, so if they are moving around on you guys, I suggest a little piece of washi tape. Just grab a little piece of washi tape, lay that over top, and then run it through. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with you. I love you, baby boss. You're so cute. Alrighty, so now I've got my little Christmas tree, and there is my for you, and it cuts it like a donut, and then you could do something with that if you wanted to. All right, fold you back up. He just sits on a little shelf, just ready to work, which, it, like, no space. Oh, so great. So great. So let's attach our seaside spray piece to our navy piece. And then our for you, we need some biddies. So I've got my biddy dimensionals here. And just that one brought brought a friend along. There we go. So I'll just put a couple biddies on there. Perfect. And that can just go anywhere right there. And then I'm going to put a biddy on my little tree here. And just one should do just for a little dimension. Now the hardest part I had, and I'll tell you what, yep, I was looking for, I was looking for Picker, he's here. So I'm just gonna attach him, let me see if I can. Use my Picker and get that hair off of there. All right, Picker. Sometimes he's a little easier than my big fingers. There we go, perfect. I don't know why all of my tools are boys. They seem to be in my studio, and I thought it was funny when a bunch of us demos were talking. Um, I'm gonna put those away before I lose them. On Facebook, the day that our our baby big shots were our our baby bosses were coming. And it was funny because some of us were like, oh my gosh, he's so cute, I love him. And of course I was like, I want to, I want to put him on a keychain and carry him around with me. And some, some of the others were like, oh, she's so sweet. And I'm like, it's funny how some of us have girls and some of us have, have some of us have boys. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna do, all right, I put that that way, so that needs to go this way. So I'm gonna do just a little strip here of um, seal and take some of that snowflake ribbon and I'm using the seal I just put a smidge there in the center to kind of hold my ribbon down I don't want it to go the whole way because I don't well it you're not gonna see it actually I wasn't sure if you would see it or not since this ribbon is kind of see-through but it looks like it you won't see it. So you could you could do a strip there. I did I did just enough that would cover underneath of my little medallion I'm going to put on. All righty. So just some dimensionals for this. And that's going to sit right here. I got to kind of line you up in the center and then just bring this around and tie myself a bow. I'm not going to tie it because I want to fix this uh-oh right there. So there you go, friends. This one has an uh-oh too. Look at that. 
So I'm going to have to turn you around. Man, I'm so I will be honest and tell you guys I wasn't sure what I was going to make today. And I was like, it's What's Up Wednesday. And last night, my, my family and I have gotten obsessed with sur old episodes of Survivor. Any Survivor friend, fran friends out there? Um, so over the holiday, we kind of started watching Survivor. And so that's what we do. We binge watch Survivor episodes at night. And last night, I was like, I don't feel like getting up and trying to figure something out. I'll just get up in the morning and create something and make it for you guys for what's up Wednesday. Don't you know that my brain kicked in at four o'clock this morning and was like, what should we make for what's up Wednesday? So I was down here crafting at 4 a.m. Um, thank goodness for Audra. I saw her video and I was like, sweet. I love it. It's perfect. Everyone needs to make lots of little gift card wallets. And, um, but yeah, obviously my brain was not quite awake as I was having uh-ohs and still even as I'm on video with you. So there's my there's my other one using the trimming the town. So thanks so much for joining me, you guys. Yes, yeah, Survivor friends are out there. Never watched. Okay, so um, you might get addicted to Survivor. Um, and uh, if you do, I'm sorry. But it is, we are enjoying uh, watching old episodes of it. Our favorite things are the challenges when they blindfold them. I mean, my husband almost falls off the chair laughing at, at these poor people bumbling around in the jungle blindfolded and hurting themselves. So anyway, my friends, come on back um, next Wednesday. Meet me right here at 10 o'clock for another live. Don't forget, this is today's prize patrol. So all you have to do is comment, like, love, and share my video. And our winner for last week's prize patrol is Alicia Bennett. So I'll get those to her. And don't forget to check out the clearance rack and um, check out the clearance rack and the year-end closeout. And then of course, um, check out the to-go class for December to make these awesome little shaker cards using the Happiest of Birthdays stamp set. So that's it, friends. Have a great week, and I will see you back here next week.